Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of The Kelly Effect. I apologize about the voice. Uh, playing football too much, watching football too much. A lot of screaming going on. Um, you know, voice is a little raggedy right now. For today, we're going to be playing Gladiator Beast. And the people that are new to, to subscribing here, I play one deck a week. And then I reveal the deck profile in real life. So we're going to be playing Gladiator Beast and trying to make them as competitive as possible, putting them to the highest tier. Um, kind of stuck with this hand. I don't know what to do. I might have to try to neg myself. Um, but other than that, Gladiator Beast are a very skilled, fast pay or slow paced deck. You want to control the field. You want to do a lot of other things um, like summon geysers, summon hair cleanos, bring out your uh, Gladiator Beast fusions like said. Um, but it's a tool pilots type deck. You use all of your Gladiator Beast inside of your deck to get over the situation in hand. Um, I'm playing against Gishki, if you guys can see, and he is turboing through all of his shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. He is turboing through all of his shit. I don't even know what any of this trash does. Uh, he's gonna ritual summon, I'm pretty sure of that. <clears throat> in this Gladiator Beast build, we are running a couple of tacks to help us combat the meta and to help us stop a lot of spamorific decks. I don't know if this deck's spamorific, unfortunately. What does this one do? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That girl's limited to one. I don't like this. I don't like this already. When a deck got two cards limited to one, I don't like it. It's only one deck that I knew that was broke as shit that had two cards to one. It's fucking Light Sworn. When they had two cards to one. <clears throat> I don't like this. Uh, hurry up. This is the most exciting hand of, uh, game in my life. He's going to ritual summon again. I hope he doesn't. He's going to ritual summon again. Or he's not. Uh, my biggest problem is going to be getting over his monsters. Uh, I drew more than enough monsters that I could handle. So let's get this done. Gotta really go into that back row. It's not much we can do. And he solemns me. Wow. Didn't see that. Whoa. Didn't see that coming. Let's see what else. What, let's. Hopefully we're gonna. Well, we're going to take some damage. Hopefully he doesn't OTK or whatever, and we can recover from that and get back into this game. A oh, fucking gish keys. I don't even know what the fuck they do. Oh, sweet. Just like we have an opening. Opening. That is more than fine. Now I'll be able to recover from there. And I'm pretty sure now since I draw a war chariot, I can control the game. I'm gonna summon Darius. No. We're gonna battle with Darius. All I have to do is get over this card. Now I'm going to go to main phase 2. Use Darius as a fight. No. Do I have enough back row? I think I have enough back row. I think Marmillo can be a safe option right now. Um, Marmillo is going to destroy his monster. We're going to go to main phase 2. I can set the, set the cherry in past turns. Yeah, not <clears throat> I'm not going to use Test Tiger right now because you want to use it for those key moments. And Test Tiger is actually more of a Prisma play. Random Typhoon. Fucking scrubs. I have no idea what that does. I want to be a douche and just sit on it. Let me see. When this card is ritual, something, blah, blah, blah. It has more attack. So he has three cards in hand. This is rough. I have to. I have to keep my Gladiator Beast alive. And I don't want a proving ground for another Gladiator Beast to run over it. Alright, good. I'm so upset that I have to do that. It seemed like a very mediocre play. But I needed to keep my Marmillo alive. Chargodia? And so now we're going to dominate the rest of this game. As you guys can see, I'm going to activate his effect. I'm going to special summon Darius. 
Yes, I'm gonna use Darius's effect. I'm gonna bring out my guy. Well, he's gonna try to give me War Chariot, but can't. Yes, I'm gonna use Darius's effect. And I'm gonna bring out the guy that can give me War Chariot. There he is. And I'm gonna get War Chariot. Um, I could special summon into some good XC. So let's not even go into Asadari right now. Let's set that War Chariot that he blinds Typhoon like a scrub. And then we can pass turn. I would go into Heraclinos, but you never want to go into Heraclinos when your opponent has more cards than you. You always want to go into it when you at least have one card higher. And you always have to count their draw phase too. So, it would have been, even if I would have kept my War Chariot in hand, it would have been 3 to 4. I don't like those odds. That's pretty risky, especially in this format where a lot of spells can do give you a lot of pluses and a lot of things. I'm so unlucky. I have five ritual monsters and I draw three of them. Sure. That's bad about playing the deck. That's what you, that's, I mean, when you play the deck, that's what you have to go to. Uh, we have about six minutes, so I'm pretty sure I can get you guys one more game. Again, sorry about the voices coming in and out. <clears throat> it's even getting on my nerves. I need some damn cough drops or something. Damn the Saints should stop doing stuff that they do. It gets on my nerves. Losing by 10 and then winning and then losing and then winning the game. I hate that trash. I hate that. Especially when I know I got to record in the morning. All right. Today we're going to be playing Lach Majin as well. Um, I hope that he hits that little checkmark box and we can get this game started as fast as possible. A um, couple other notes I wanted to say about Gladiator Beast. You typically don't have more than one or two monsters on field. That was a rare occasion that you guys did see. Oh, fuck. I hate that. I hate that. I hate drawing the Hoplomus and drawing the Chariot. Because you want to... <sighs> ah, whatever. I think, I think my four back row can hold him off. But I hate drawing the Hoplomus and having the Chariot. That's why I don't like Hoplomus. But he, he, we're going, obviously, we're going to go through a couple of rough drafts. And then we're going to get to our, our primary deck. Once we get to the real deck, you'll see if Hoplomus can make the cut or not. I don't think he will. Even though he is an amazing Gladiator Beast. 2100 defense. And I'm playing against Dragons where I need the, the War Chariot face up. That sucks. Oh, well. I kind of figured I was playing against Dragons. I probably would have... Proving ground for the Lucari. Some of the Lucarians sat on it, but it just seems so eh. Oh, I'm not playing against dragons. I'm playing against some type of burn. Some weird deck. Okay, so I'm very fortunate that I set the hop. Yes, attack the hop. Also, never set on your main phase one. Never set on your main phase one. Unless you, unless there's no such thing as main phase two for you. Because now I'm going to activate Hop's effect. And I'm going to get a free Bastari. I know he can't stop it. I know he can't stop this. And I get to pick a, I get to pick out a free back row. And destroy it. What the hell is he playing? I'm very confused. These players confuse me now. I really don't. I really don't know what they play anymore. I am not about that life. We're gonna go back to Hoppy because it should be going back to Doc. Set the Hoppy. Contact fusion. Another thing, if you guys didn't know, you can contact fuse even if the monsters are phased down. Um, it was ruled that a long time ago. I can't even tell you when. Um, we're going to be using Geyser's effect. We're going to blow up back row. And since Starlight Road is going as well, we don't have to worry about Starlight Road. We can destroy as many cards as we want. What the hell is he playing? He's playing some weird deck. I forget. 
I've seen that card before. But oh well, he, he quit. Um, as you can see, I was pretty much doing the filled in anyways. I don't think he could have got around the back row. Probably would have attributed one of my Gladiator Beasts for Volcanic Queen, which would have been fine. I would have had a free 2500 beater, and I, I don't mind taking a thousand every turn, especially when I have advantage like this. Um, thank you guys for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.